should have all systems go on YouTube and Amazon Live. Okay, okay so I've got multiple cameras setting up over here. I think one, two, three, I think we're only going with four, even though I think I got six of them ready to go. Um, I'm going to show you guys like my behind the scenes of creating YouTube content. And specifically, I'm gonna just do B-roll right now today and the goal of this live stream is to obviously teach you guys what i'm doing let me see if i can get my audio down it looks like my audio is peaking a little bit um maybe not one of my goal is to do this video to show you guys like the process of creating youtube videos in smaller spaces and i actually need to create a youtube video at the same time so my lighting is more so set up to create the content um my audio is here hopefully it comes through well but again everything is like to create my my content but I think it's pretty cool if you guys can kind of be behind the scenes and kind of see what I go through um, so if you're creating content on YouTube then you kind of get an idea of 
you're not the only one that goes through this and especially if you're doing it in a small space as well so that's kind of what i'm doing here um, i will answer some questions because like i said i'm doing b-roll so essentially i'll be recording stuff but looking at the comments so if you have questions definitely go ahead and put those in for my youtube folks um, thank you guys for being here i see you guys i'll get with you guys and answer questions here uh, first and then for my Amazon folks glad to see you guys here as well um, those of you all that are watching on Amazon you'll be able to actually see all the products that I'm using um, if you ask about them I will add them to the carousel and you can actually just click directly on the product and add it to your cart and then if you want to actually check out you can just check out so it's pretty cool with the Amazon live experience because you can do everything at one time all right so that's kind of what we got going on here. So let me shout out everybody I see here. Uh, Harry, good to see you here. I'm gonna come back to your question here because I saw it, but I wasn't quite sure what you meant by it. Nikki, good to see you here. She said it's better here. <laughs> Sounds good, thank you, thank you. I needed an audio check because um, I've got multiple microphones going on right now and I kind of explain the setup here before we get into the YouTube stuff. Um, and then I see the Life Changer 45 small studio apartment so this would be great awesome kw ministry mission movement thank you for all the information awesome and i know my ministry people we got small setups for our ministry um, tech areas so we will talk about some of that as well uh adam on amazon live son of none on amazon live and w jones on amazon live thank you all for following emmanuel good to see you here haven't seen your name pop up in a couple weeks so good to see you here on youtube all right, so Harry um, on YouTube says, where can I get a click widget like that one? Can you explain what you're referring to, Harry? Because I'm not sure. Um, I think you're talking about my logo on YouTube in the bottom corner. There's a settings area for YouTube that allows you to change your logo or change the image that's there. And I, I think that's what you're talking about, but just let me know. Um, so let's see, do I got any other questions before we get started? Okay, I don't see any. All right, so let's let's get into this. So I'm going to kind of show you the setup going on to do all of this broadcast right now and then show you what I'm using to kind of just record the YouTube video. So you might see me do a lot of um, clicking and moving and stuff around because there are multiple setups going on here at the same time. Uh, let me reset this cable because that's going to keep blinking. Something about that camera just likes to keep blinking. Um, that way you guys can understand like the craziness that's going on for real. So which camera that I got going on here? All right. So I, you, I am in a spare bedroom. Spare. This is my office space spare room, right? So it's about 12 by 10 plus I have a bump out for a closet so it kind of eats into that space uh looks better on amazon okay cool so i wonder what the difference is i tried to stream high quality on youtube today um so i have a closet right there that's kind of taking up space and i don't have a good angle of the closet but you guys can see the bump out so typically when i film my youtube videos it's either here straight on looking at this angle or i'll kind of put a camera off to the side or what I've been doing here in one of the recent videos is I kind of sat here and had a camera pointed at me here. So it's a small space. Um, oops, I didn't, you guys didn't see that last here angle. Um, I'll sit over here um, and it's a small space, right? So like literally everything is just being shifted around all the time. My chairs are over here. I have one chair right there and another chair just off camera just to create this content, all right? So that's the room layout. Um, the cameras that I have going on here, I have this camera overhead. It's a PTV Optics box cam. I'm not going to add this to the carousel because it's more so out of date and the technology is just a little bit older. There's some newer versions of it, but I don't have it. So I'm not going to share in the carousel about that one. But having an overhead camera is great behind the scenes. So you could do like a GoPro or something like that. And then I will add my cameras over here as well. What's going on, Rome? Good to see you. So let me add, well, I'll, I'll add it in the carousel if you guys are interested in the box camera. And then I got the 20X, well, no, that's the 12X I'm using today, and a 20X, okay. 
So let's return the live stream. All right, so on Amazon, I've got it highlighted, the, the, the uh, box camera that I'm using as my overhead. And then this camera over here that you guys see on this tripod right here, this is my PTZ Optics camera. And what's cool about that camera is it's PTZ, meaning pan, tilt, and zoom. Uh, you can control it with your remote, which is cool because I have my remote right here. And then also it allows you to control it with a joystick, which is the, the footage I need to record for the YouTube video, specifically for YouTube and Amazon Live. So PTZ Optics, PTZ camera, pan, tilt, zoom, use a remote, or you can use a controller, okay? So this is the controller that I'm going to actually be uh, getting some B-roll footage of today in this video, uh, excuse me, in this video, as long as I'm here on live stream. So I'm working and showing y'all stuff at the same time. Um, this was sent to me, so I haven't tested this specific one, but I've used multiple uh, controllers similar to this one. So I'm excited to, to look at this one. All of these, all of these are going to be in the product carousel too, guys, if you want to check them out. So I'm going to set this over here because I'm actually going to use this space to uh, get some footage of it by itself. Because anybody that does YouTube videos, one of the things that you kind of want to do is add some dynamic to your video. So having B-roll footage, uh, basically footage that uh, plays while you're talking about certain aspects of what it is that you're talking about just makes the video more dynamic rather than just sitting there talking straight at the camera the whole time, just holding it and pointing at it. So having pre-recorded video footage that I can overlay on top of it to make the message clear so people can visually see it is what I'm trying to do more of on my channel this year. And then here on Amazon, it's more so adding dynamics in real time. So it's multiple camera angles in real time. So that device is gonna be back there in the back. So we'll go ahead and highlight that in the carousel if you guys are interested that in that. So let me check out YouTube questions. Uh, Harvest Broadcast says, I'm a pastor watching from Maryland. Cool, I'm in Virginia. I like the teleprompter. What is the name and price? Also, is it easy to set up and use? Cool, a lot of people have asked me about the teleprompter setup here recently. I got an email as well. So let me add that in the product carousel. So for those that aren't familiar, this is the teleprompter I'm using. Right now I have Clubhouse in there um, because I, I, I use Clubhouse and I was trying to get people from Clubhouse to come on over here to Amazon Live and YouTube. So let me add, let me add the teleprompter stuff in here. So it's called the Lily, uh, it's called the uh, Glide Gear, Glide Gear. Now, I don't use it as often as I probably should. And then I'll add the lily put monitor that I use for it as well. Okay. All right, so those on Amazon, you'll just be able to click right on it and it'll take you right to the product. Those on YouTube, I'll walk you through it. So this is a wide gear TMP 100 okay so on the pricing is going to be different but I'm just going to say the, the pricing that I'm seeing as of right now is 199 for the teleprompter so the camera is literally sitting on the back I have uh, the cover comes with it the glasses come with it and everything this monitor does not come with it so the monitor is separate you have to buy a different monitor a monitor in order to use your teleprompter now you can use an iPad. So if you are, if I had a smaller iPad, I could actually just set that in there. But I just like using a actual monitor because I basically have dual monitors. So if I have anybody that's used two monitors, you know you can kind of slide stuff to the other monitor and slide it away when you need it, expand it and everything. So because I use my teleprompter for like uh, conferences and slide decks and all that stuff, I can look right at the teleprompter. And because this is a screen, Essentially, I can put my PowerPoint on this monitor. It reflects up and I'm still keeping line of sight the whole time. So this is the Lilliput TMP um, 
100 or uh, TMP 100 and then the Lilliput uh, monitor. And the Lilliput monitor is the A11 and it's uh, a little over 300 for the monitor itself. But you can use an iPad device if you have one. Um, Rome says microphone is going in and out. Let me check my battery because I did not charge my these. Okay, battery is good, so it might be me. It might be me. Um, if it's really bad, let me know. And I'll switch over to... If it's really bad, I'll have to unbox that cable that I have over there that I just haven't done yet. All right. Um, so we got that question. Let's see. Next... Harry says the clock widget on the intro. Oh, so I created that. It's the uh, countdown timer. Let me see if I can play it without the audio in it for you. Let me, or without the music in it. And motion down, okay. All right, so um, that is through my live streaming software called Wirecast and let me see if Wirecast has a license here on Amazon so I think software is starting to pop up on here but I basically created that through um, through Wirecast and there's just a whole bunch of uh, live streaming software that allows you to add some customization to it so those people on Amazon I added it there for you guys but it's just uh, an image my logo is just an image and then the clock is basically one of the tools that you can add in the software. It says add a countdown timer. So I added the clock and then I added a music file and I just overlay those on top of each other and have it as a scene. And that's what it is. Um, let's see. Drawing technical says, hi, Monty. Nice screen you got there. Thank you. Thank you. I think you're referring to that big old 49 inch monitor there. Audio's jumping. Okay, so Emmanuel knows the same thing. Audio's jumping out in robotic sound every once in a while, but it's just two seconds. Huh. I wonder what's causing that. All right, let me try something. I'm going to turn off and turn these back on. So let me see if that fixes it. way too much stuff going on over here now and my techies understand like most setups you're not going to do all of this live streaming like three platforms with two microphones plugged in to go into clubhouse for no reason and all the other platforms for no reason so hopefully it's better hopefully it works and it stays stable otherwise i'll have to create an alternative off the top of my head and I guess that's what we do in the tech space. We're always finding solutions to problems. <laughs> Sometimes problems that we create too. All right. All right. So I think I think we're all right. You guys just let me know. All right. So we, we talked about the setup, what I got going on. What's going on, Kurt? I'm, I'm doing too much, Kurt. I'm doing too much over here. I'm trying to multitask. All right. So I talked about the setup in a small space. Let me get to setting this area up behind me because that's what I need to create B-roll for this YouTube video for, all right? But if you guys have questions, I'm definitely paying attention to the questions, all right? Now my clubhouse people, I'm about to move to the other side of the room and so the microphone that I'm using for you all, you're probably not gonna hear me that well. So definitely click on the link in the clubhouse and come watch me on YouTube because you can watch and see at the same time. All right, and hit the subscribe button while you're there. All right, so let's move over here. I'm gonna highlight the PTZ controller and get over here. So what I wanna do, like I said, is create some dynamic with my YouTube videos and highlight certain aspects of it when I talk. And recently, I went and picked up this slider, which I had seen for a while, 
that is just amazing because it's small. Now the slider is not sold on Amazon, unfortunately, but some of the other components are like this tripod that's super lightweight and this thing called a Sea Star that allows me to take off. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can see this on this angle, but it allows me to take off this uh, head really easy. So let me put it here. Uh, let me go to camera two. All right. So I can actually take this head off really quick and pop it right off. And then I can put it right back in too. But I'm over here doing too much. So, okay, there we go. And so when you want to put on, you can just like easily take off cameras and put on stuff like so fast with this thing. Um, I never knew this thing existed until I just saw a random video on it. Um, let's, see, let's go back over here wide. Roslyn Hill, thanks for following on Amazon. Curse it, I made the switch to Amazon. All right, so let me add, let me do add this in the product description here on Amazon. So the tripod is an eye footage tripod and I started looking at their gear and they make some really nice gear. Like for those people that are ready to like go to the next level in some of the, in some of the gear that we don't think is as important until you find yourself growing and you're like, man, that's important. So I have a tripod that that camera is sitting on right now, which is great for what it does, but it's squeaky and everything. But this tripod here for this, for this slider, oh my gosh, it's strong. It's lightweight, it's carbon fiber. Like you just don't realize how well some of these things can like benefit you. So let me add the slider. I mean, not the slider, the tripod in here. Um, this is the eye footage. This is the seven TC seven TC seven. And what's unique about this one, I guess I'm about to take it apart so y'all can kind of see it. Um, it's, it's a bowl and it's not like a traditional tripod either. What's going on, Sarah? Good to see you, my Amazon live friend. Y'all make sure y'all follow Sarah and follow Kirk too. Anybody with the blue dot. All right. All right, so let me show y'all this slider or this, I keep saying slider. I'm telling y'all, I'm, I'm doing like way too much today. I'm supposed to be recording YouTube videos. I'm multitasking. All right, so this pops off. So it's like two turns take this off and then I can take my whole slider off of here. Like that's the tripod. It's this bowl tripod. Now I don't want to take the bottom off cause I don't feel like redoing doing it. Um, but that's it. Like, and so if I want to put my slider back on here, I can level it out, take this and just screw it back on here. And then when I screw it on, I can just make sure it's level using my bubble leveler right there. And then that's it. So it's super lightweight. Like I have the camera on here. I have the slider on here and the tripod itself. And it's, and it's, it's lighter, way lighter than that setup over there. Um, so I, I really like this tripod, but I got it in the, in the, uh, in the carousel there. All right. So I need to turn this and turn this on. I got my SD card in there. No, I don't. SD card is over here because I had to take a thumbnail image for the YouTube video today. So I took my YouTube image on this camera right here. And if y'all see something that you like have questions about, definitely feel free to ask as I'm like legit working and multitasking and troubleshooting and answering questions all at the same time. All right, so there's a couple videos I've been watching like for filmmakers that I really like and it's these dive in, dive out shots. And I wanna take, I might have to rechange the height on this in a second. Let me turn this on and let it calibrate itself. Okay. Uh, I wish I had a, like another camera. Well, no, I do have another camera. What am I talking about? I was gonna say another camera that's pointed right at this so you guys can actually see it. I need a producer to do like picture in picture as I move around because I'm doing like everything. Kurt, you know how it is trying to do everything. Uh, 
Shiny Tay Tay, what's going on? Um, every time you raise your arms, it distorts. Oh, it's probably because of this shirt. Let me see if I can put it on the inside a little bit better. Hopefully it doesn't rub too much. Uh, let's see, let's see, okay. All right, thank you for the follow here on Amazon. All right, so I move. All right, so I, I see the comments about the audio. So I move my lapel down underneath. I should wear a collared shirt for this, for that lapel. If it still does it, then I'll jump in the closet and get a collared shirt on. All right, so let's see. Do, 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 do. What camera is that? It's go now it's gonna be camera five right there. Okay, so let me get this other PTZ going here. So you can point it at the slider here. All right, so camera five now is gonna be pointed at our slider. And let me get to some of these questions. Let me do a little picture and picture action here. Picture and picture, there we go. All right, and let's change DVE to four, I think. Okay, all right. Let me get to these questions for y'all. On YouTube says, what kind of camera are their links? So I do have links to cameras on, if you watch on Amazon, it's a lot easier to see or because it'll be like right there and you can just click on it. So for my YouTube people, I'm gonna put my Amazon live link there if you wanna watch it on Amazon. But I'm using the Sony A6400 as my camera, as my main shooting camera because I can shoot in 4K with that camera. Uh, my PTZ cameras are 1080p cameras, and so I, I I just want 4K if I can for my YouTube videos. It's a little bit more work for the files because they're just bigger, but it's the Sony A6400. Um, and I'm not actually using any crazy lens on it this time. So the shallow depth of field lens like here it blurs out the background if I'm, you know, close enough. So I'm not using that on this camera at all. I'm just using my, what they call the kit lens, just because I actually need to record the video and not talk the whole night. So let me hit, so I'm gonna set this up here. And then there was one more question I wanted to answer before I got started on that. Um, the big sunlight in the corner. Okay, so this light over here is the Aperture 120D. Now, when I first got that light, I got it because I had an office space and then I ended up moving everything home right before the world shut down. So it's the actual light. And I'm adding it to Amazon as well. The actual light is the 120D Mark II. So the light's behind it, you won't be able to see the light because the light is behind the soft box. And the soft box is called the Light Dome 2. So there's a lot of these on the market um, and the price points are different for all of them, but essentially trying to get as much light softly to bounce on you. Now this light's a little, it's turned up a little hot just because I needed to point uh, down at that table, but typically that light you guys don't really see it because it's off in the corner um, out of frame, but I need to bring it closer so I can um, get it pointed at that desk a little bit. But the the big big dome light is the Aperture 120D Mark II, and then it's the Aperture Light Dome II, so it's two parts. Now, what you can't see, because it's just off camera, but I can put it in camera, is that I have it hanging off a pole called a monopole and let me see if I can bring that up here. Cause it was on a, uh, its own tripod stand. So those are, are here early. That's the overhead camera that I use. Um, and then I have this tension rod pole that is um, holding up the light too. So 
Um, it's a huge light. If for this space, I would have bought a smaller light, but like I said, I, I had already purchased this one because they make a smaller version of this, the mini size, um, because that would actually be better and not take up as much space um, like this one currently does. All right, so let's get my slider position back over here. Okay, all right. Let's see here. So I need to get, what's going on, Lori? Good to see you pop over here on Amazon with me. All right, so lighting is essential to your videos, just like audio is just as essential as well. So I have this little Voltrox light that I put on here. And then this slider, I'm gonna make sure I didn't miss any questions from you guys. Okay. So what I'm gonna do now is get the slider going. Point this up just a hair. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna set two positions on here and make sure that we can see. I actually wanna get lower on here, so I think I'll zoom. So I can set position one and position two. Now position, okay. I'm trying to see the shot I want. What, cause my goal for YouTube is to create less videos, but just higher quality videos. So I'm gonna have this as position A. This is position B. Hit confirm, stand by. And so, you guys have probably started to see me use more motion in my videos, um, especially on my Monday live show. I've been using more motion in the videos and I'm using this slider to do that. This slider goes uh, for six hours on a NF NPF battery and then it also can be charged as well. So this whole setup is, like, is an eye footage setup. The tripod, the slider, uh, what they call the C star on here, quick release plate as well. So I'm gonna let that go a couple times. I, I can set the different time, the speed for this. It's real quiet too, but I'm gonna let that go a couple times so the editor has something to work with. What's going on, Brian? Good to see you here on YouTube. All right, so I'll put the tripod back on there. Well, I'll put the C-Star on there. For anybody that is always constantly switching out their devices, you can get the C-Star. So I'll put that on there. And it works pretty good. All right, so let's see. Oh, I didn't hit record on my camera, okay. So we gotta let that go again. So this will be B-roll footage for an upcoming video. So I'm gonna get a couple different angle shots because you guys know when you watch, you know, YouTube videos, it's kind of it's kind of nice to see what is going on when someone is speaking. So being able to capture multiple angles, uh, you know, like if I'm connecting something together, I've been trying to add more of those type of shots too, like showing me connecting the actual device, um, touching the actual button, stuff like that. What's going on, Carmelita? Good to see you here. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Brian, for the congrats. I don't know if you can hear, baby, if that's why you said it, because she's over there crying. I know mama's got her. She's probably hungry. All right. So I think I got a couple shots. I'm going to do one more. Uh, does the slider have the ability to rotate the camera as well? Yes, it does. And I will do that. The it. It has the ability to rotate the camera. It just doesn't have the, the ability to um, tilt. That's the only thing. So it'll slide, obviously, and it'll pan, but it does not tilt. That's the only thing. Um, it is super small, which is what I like about it. I, I almost wanted to wait for something with the tilt, but the price point, like I couldn't, like the price point at the time was better than what it is now, um, just because of all the shipping things that are going on. But I'll, I'll switch it around because I do want a pan shot. So, so I want something. So 
So what I can do is I'll start by looking at it here, A, and then B here. Uh, let me zoom out a little bit there, okay. So we'll go there and there. Okay, so that's gonna still, it's not gonna give me the full shot I want. Well, let's reset that one. Two, confirm, stand by. Okay, so let me see if I can get that on there so you can see it do it. So it's gonna be a 20 second move essentially, but it will turn the camera as it's going. Um, let's see, Manuel says, what is the brand and price of the slider? How long? Um, it, let me just pull it up and drop a link in there only so I can not get Amazon live mad at me cause it's not sold on Amazon. So for my YouTube people, I'll grab a link and put it in there for you. Uh, let's see, but it's, it's called the shark, shark slider nano if it's even available, because it took a long time for me to get it. Uh, crosswalks, let's see. Oops. What did I do? Oh, I did not mean to do that. Off. I meant to do that, okay. Um, and then I'm gonna pop over to your question, Lori, here. I think you guys get a coupon if you buy anything from iFootage from their site. So for my YouTube people, I'll put that in here. All right, but look for the um, shark, shark slider nano over there. Um, what's going on, Steve? Good to see you. All right, let me make sure that all right, so we should have got some shots of that that way. And hit exit on that. And we get something a little bit closer as well. So I'm gonna reset this. I want the shot that kind of goes all the way and then kind of takes it right out of frame as well. I forgot to put my little color light on there behind there. Sometimes I'll, I'll use this uh, this light tube and I forgot to do it. But when you guys see the video, you be like, how come one time it has light and the other time it doesn't? You guys give me a color. What color should I put in the background behind here? Um, give, me a, give me a color. This allows me to change colors. This was sent over to, from YC Onion, which is the craziest name in the world. Um, but it's a light tube. Uh, and, I'll, and I'll put this behind products. YC. Uh, let's see. I think, yeah, you can use an app for it too. I've never actually used the app. I don't use the app for a lot of the stuff I have in here, even though it does have the app. All right, Carmelator, yours is the first one I saw, so Violet, so I'm going to keep the color I got here. What's going on, Roz? Good to see you. Good to see you. We are over here acting up. All right, so I'm going to set that there to kind of get some color to bounce in this video. So I try to keep this out of frame as much as I can, but still kind of keep it close enough to get some color in the video. So I'm, I'm getting I'm getting accustomed to creating videos, if that makes sense, because you can you can do a YouTube video, but like I just want to add more to it, especially because I'm in the tech space. So the tech videos is like you really got to kind of step up your game sometimes on what you're doing so that people can actually watch your videos. Otherwise, now, now you guys see this is a process too. So, you know, I'm actually live streaming, but it's also a process in itself. If I wasn't live streaming, if I was just doing, if I was just doing this um, and and not talking, Ross said yellow. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can get a little yellow in here too. 
Oh yeah, oh yeah, Emmanuel says it's not cheap. Yeah, it's not cheap. Um it's not cheap. It now it used to be cheaper. The slider used to be cheaper when um before the world shut down. It was like almost three, two, three hundred dollars cheaper than what it is now, but because of the supply chain shortages, um yeah, it's definitely not the cheapest slider. But I definitely love what it can potentially do because when I look at when I look at gear, um I want it to pay for itself. So when I look at, okay, can this piece of gear generate revenue to make it worth its while in a short time period? That's what I'm looking at. And so for me, the slider can definitely do that because I had people start to notice the videos were changing before I even started mentioning it. Um, and it, for, it's also a little time saver for me too. And I'm a techie, so I just kind of like that stuff. So, like, all of them combined into one. Tiana, thanks for following me here on Amazon. All right. Let's see here. See, said blue. Got, okay, y'all got a whole bunch of different colors popping up now. All right. So, I got that angle there. And, like I said, I'm just doing B-roll of the slider. So, I'm going to get one more shot that I want. And then... I have this charger that I want to record to. So this is kind of my way of bulk recording because I'm not going to film the actual talking head part of this video tonight. I'm just getting the B-roll footage of it tonight. So go here. And let's back that up a little bit there. All right, so this shot I want a little bit different. Okay, so... Set A point and set B point. And so for those of you that are just jumping in, um, I received that PTZ camera switcher. And that is what I'm getting footage of. Stand by, okay. So I can actually set that thing up. All right. Uh, okay, no new questions here. All right, cool. Now, I also have this device that I need to create a minute video of, so y'all might hear me go into a minute video. Did I add this to the carousel yet? Okay, I haven't added this to the carousel yet. Um, this is a, char oh no, I did. This is a USB-C charger. Um, let me switch over to another camera so I can actually record a good video because I'm a repurposer as well. All right. This is, let's see. This is the Cobalt Charging Mate 120 watt power charger, four ports, desktop charger. So what I'm going to be using this for is to charge up USB-C devices and USB devices. So inside of the packaging here, you have your power cable, so a two-pronged power cable, and then we have the actual charger itself, which is small enough to fit in your hand, okay? And it has some weight to it, too, so it's not the lightest thing, so it has some weight to it. You'll definitely feel it. So plug it in here, and then it has a Velcro to keep the cables nice and tight. So we'll go ahead and take the Velcro off. I actually have a industrial power strip under my desk here. So now I have it plugged in to charge. And what I'm going to use this for more so is to charge devices like this, which is my Rode Wireless Go charger. And I'm just going to plug it in USB-C into the charger and I actually have lights showing on my charger that it's charging. So this is a pretty cool device that was sent over. So I appreciate them for sending this over. 120 watts, I believe it was. Um, comes with a power charger, user guide as well. Two USB ports for charging and two USB-C ports for charging, okay? So this will be one of the another essential parts of my system because I'm always charging up things uh, two USB uh, two USB C and two USB ports on here okay so got that done got that out the way 
appreciate them for sending that over. Got all kinds of gear here. All right, so we got that shot that I want there. And exit, are you sure? I do need like an overhead, overhead shot. So let's see if I can get this to fit inside of there. Okay. All right, I need to tilt this down a little bit more. And I like this ball head on this tripod because it has tension in it. Oh my gosh, like you just can't move it and it'll just bounce around and everything's got this nice tension in it. Okay. All right, so let's see here. There we go. I need that direct overhead shot too. Y'all know those YouTube videos y'all watch. I'm trying to be like them when I grow up. All right. Now, why doesn't that look straight? Okay. All right. That don't look straight either. Okay, so let's move my light over here. Get a little different look. Set my A point, set my B point, confirm, and hit go and start. I gotta see what that looks like. And then in post editing, I let the editor slow stuff down and let him make it look all pretty. Uh, gear Palooza, I know, right? The, I have so much stuff over here, like, it is unreal. Let me, like, I can't even show show y'all everything. But over here in this corner, you guys, you can't really tell how bad it is, but I'll kind of explain it. So the desk is 30 inches deep, okay? So the desk itself is 30 inches deep. I have stuff going from here all the way back. So starting at the bottom, there is this large box right here full of equipment that was sent over to me, full of it, like to the brim. Otherwise, this other stuff would be sitting in it. But this box back here is a moving box, a large moving box full of equipment. I've got stuff stacked on top of it back here. I've got headphones back here. I've got massagers back here. I've got security cameras back here. Um, yeah, I've got my BZB switcher, which is back here but it's only because i just did a video on the switcher so i that's why i'm doing the uh complimentary video for the um complimentary video along with the switcher because if you use the switcher it's pretty um, nice to have a i mean if you use the uh, not the switcher if you use the controller that's over here that i'm recording video on um, having a switcher is like one of those complimentary devices so i got that over there and then um i've got the boxes for a couple of those things i'm recording now uh shout out to my friends over at sure um microphones they sent me over some microphones i got there they also sent me over some headphones that i've talked about in my last amazon live i think it was so um, I'll be doing another Amazon Live just on headphones, all the different types that I'm using and the use cases behind them. But there is a lot of gear over here. And then um, up here, up here, I've got a whole bunch of cell phone cases that were sent over to me from iBlazon, the team over at iBlazon. Um, all the iPhone 13 cases you can think of, I have them. <laughs> um, there's like 50 some cases over here for the iPhone 13 mini, the regular size, the Pro Max, Max, like all four sizes of iPhone 13 cases I have stacked up right here. Um, Feiyu Tech sent me over a gimbal right here. So I've got a lot of gear that was just sent over. Um, so I appreciate all those companies that reach out and send me stuff over here to test out and play with and use and all that good stuff. Um, uh, let's see here, everybody that is watching me on Amazon Live and YouTube, I appreciate you guys for following. So we got that straight. I'm going to turn this light off too because I don't want to use up all my battery on that as I'm talking to you all. So I'm going to do a quick reset um, for everybody, all my platforms I got going on here. 
um, I'm, camera two, camera two. Uh, shout out to all of you all uh, for, for being here on a Friday. Those of you all on watching on Clubhouse, definitely click the link. Come join me and watch me. I'm testing out something on Clubhouse, but you guys can click the link and come watch me on YouTube. Those of you all that are on YouTube, make sure that you hit the like button for me. If that's the only thing you guys do, is just hit the like button for me. I appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit the red subscribe button and you guys will be able to see the video of me doing all of this uh, in a, probably in a couple of weeks. Uh, and then you'll be able to see the actual B-roll footage that I caught because we're doing it all here live in real time and then educating you at the same time. But if you're here on YouTube, appreciate you guys. I'm definitely checking out your questions. And then those of you all that are watching me on Amazon Live, appreciate you being over there. Make sure you hit the follow button if you're watching on Amazon. And then if there's specific products that you guys are interested in knowing what I'm using here, I'm putting those in the product carousel so you can just click on it and add it to your card or check it out and learn more about it, all that good stuff. So that is my reset as we get ready to transition over here, what we're uh, recording with. Um, let's see here, Brian, what's going on? Ryan says, what stand is your sure mic on? Okay. My sure mic is this one back here. Which sure mic, Ryan? <laughs> Let me know because I got two of them going on right here. Um, I didn't realize it. I got I got the one SM7B right here, and then I got the MV7 right here. So let me know which one you're referring to, and I'll answer that because what it allows me to do is add both of them in a product carousel to stall um, because. The, they're, they're both pretty cool. And obviously they both serve different use cases, right? Um, one is a low profile and this one is the frameworks. Frameworks. Um, desktop. Uh, ch -ch -ch mic. Let me see if it pulls up here. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I put both of them in a product carousel. Um, SM7B, okay, all right, so SM7B is on the Elgato LP arm, so I'll highlight that in the carousel. All right, so Elgato makes a lot of cool product. I need some more light over here. Um, let me tilt that for you guys real quick, and then I'll turn it back to my filming setup here in a minute. Um, I got so much going on here, y'all can't even see it. All right, hold on, let me move some stuff out the way. I guess I could zoom in. Um, I guess I guess I could a little bit. Okay, there we go. So let's move that out the way. This is going to my clubhouse people right there. All right, so sure SM7B is right here. And what just happened? Hold on one second, Joe. I don't know what just happened over there. I clicked something. Okay. SM7B microphone right here. So it's on the Elgato Wave low profile arm. So it's actually mounted behind the desk out here. So it's mounted on the desk back right here. Okay, so it's pretty cool. Um, it allows me to take the cables and run the cables right in the arm and you can just take these up. These are just little metal plates that you just take off and then put back on. So I use, um, actually invested in some good cables too, audio cables for this mic and then has a swivel so i like it because you know it comes down versus the over the over boom arm so i just i just kind of like that for this particular mic so when i'm on camera like here it comes up and then i can adjust it that way um the you know boom arms are cool too but when this came out i was like yeah this is kind of more my style so when i'm done with it I can just kind of hide it, you know, over here, or I can swing it all the way over here and just have it out the way. But it reaches pretty good. I have a 30 inch desk from um, how deep it is, 70 inches wide, 30 inches deep. So you can see it comes all the way out here and you can mount any microphone on here. For a while, I actually had my Rode um, NTG shotgun mounted on here. And then the folks over at Sure reached out to me and I was like, yeah, I'll take that SM7B and test it out. So they put, I put that on here and it's been on here ever since. And then 
the other accessories kind of sit back there. So I hope that answers your question on that. So let's zoom that back out and swing this monitor back so I can see. Okay. And take this light down because I cannot see the screen. <laughs> this thing gets super bright. All right. Um, Ross says, oh, let me go back up. I missed something. Okay, light. Lori says, if I missed it, what was the light cube on the Sony camera? Um, this light back here, Lori, on that camera is the Voltrox. Oh, I just bought that thing. What was it called? Right, I'm gonna add it to the carousel now. It's the Voltrox something, 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 something. I used to do that all the time playing Wheel of Fortune when you had to guess the word something, 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 something. Um, it's the Voltrox L116T, is this one. So let's move this over here, put this back in the frame. Where is it said? Okay. All right, so raise this up a little bit. All right, so this, um, all right, make sure I'm in the camera. So let's do, turn that that way so you can see what's going on here. All right, so on the back of here, you have a power button, on off power button. It shows you the percentage. Now, for some reason, like this only goes down to 20% brightness. Like it, like you can't go down past 20. I just thought it was odd that you can't go past 20, but it's only 20% brightness, but you can change the Kelvin temperature. So you can have it more that amber color, or you can go all the way up to 5,600 where it's um, white. So that's what you have on there. And then you can power this by the LP batteries. So you just pop that battery off. Um, it does not come with a battery so you need to purchase a battery if you don't have one um, and it also does not come with a power brick so I actually bought a power brick specifically for this to uh, mount on my desk um, so over here just out of frame I have my camera pointed at me and then I have bought a power brick specifically to um, capture the light or to, to power on this light but when I'm over here, I don't want to take it off. So I just use my battery and plug it in. And it just mounts into the cold shoe mount here. And then I can take it off and a panel light there. So, so that is the Voltrox light. I had a little small Voltrox cube light too. I don't use it anymore. That one was sent to me. So I guess that's why I don't use it. <laughs> All right um let's see all right let me figure out what i got going on here so i got my b-roll there i got my okay i do want to get one more shot let me see if i can get this down a little bit now what i like about these legs are they're a lot easier to use on this tripod than lower end tripods the legs are just better I kind of want to get this. Let's see if that's going to be too short. Yeah, that's too short. Let me come back up a little bit. Okay. All right, I want to get this like zooming in shot. All right, so let me reposition my light. I'm working in a small space, you guys. So, like, this is my life constantly rearranging. Okay. All right. The final shot I want. Okay. That's going to be cool. That'll go slightly over. Oh, well, I might be able to hide that back there. Ooh, that might look cool. All right, so let's take this light down a little bit because I got too much exposure going on. Uh, 2015, okay. 
because I want the purple to show. And I need to adjust this because it's off. Okay. So that's straight. Oh, that's not straight. That is straight. So on the camera, I use the leveler on the camera. Make sure the line is showing green. All right. So I'll make sure that I get this shot the way I want it. All right, set camera A point here. And camera B is going to be there. Confirm, standby. Make sure I hit record on here. And I want that to go that way. Okay. All right, so try and get another shot there. I just want to make sure that's stable because I don't know if I was leaning on it, but I don't want my tripod to trip over either. Okay. All right, cool. Um, let's see. Ross says, do you, do you like your LED lights? I do like my LED lights. Um, I don't use them as often. I'm going to try to incorporate them in. I'm trying to figure out if I want to do it like in my color scheme, branding color scheme. Um, but I do like, I do like them. Um, that one specifically, I'll, I'll use that one more so than my others. I do have the LEDs on that back there. I don't know why. I don't, well, I know why I don't have them on tonight. But um, the ones back there, they change. So, you know, I'll play with these sometimes, all the time. Kind of match these to what's going on in the living room with our TV LEDs that my wife changes. She changes the colors every day. So sometimes I'll try to match the colors with that one back there. Um, teleprompter, yep, so, yeah, it's, oops, not uh, camera there, yeah, so that's the teleprompter back there, that's the one that's feeding Clubhouse right now, I can go ahead and end that room right now, I was just testing something out on Clubhouse, alright, so, the shot should be done, Right here, so I've got enough of this and exit sure. Okay, save my battery life here. And then Lori says, Have you tried another small light cubes? I've tried some other ones, um, they're smaller. I'm not sure if I have it in here. No, okay. I've got a box of stuff for sale on my website, and I think it might be part of that one. But I've used smaller ones. Um, I just need, um, I need more space. Otherwise, I wouldn't get rid of stuff. But I have used some smaller ones. They work fine. Just turn the brightness up. As long as it gets bright enough, that's all I'm concerned about. Um, the bigger ones seem to help me get rid of a lot more of my shadows because I get a lot of shadows in here. So I've, got, so I've, you can see I've got a lamp turned on to white. I've got this light over here on. Oops, you can't see that up. That light on. Um, I've got this light on and I've got the light on the camera on. So I'm trying to just get rid of as many shadows as I can. So I use the bigger ones for it. Uh, let's see. Did I miss any other questions? Okay, I think we're good. Uh, shotgun road mic. Oh, I love this mic. Oh, hands down. One of my fa hands down favorite shotgun mic. This one right here. So I'm done talking on this one so I can unplug that. Um, yeah, hands down favorite shotgun mic that I've ever used because this can be used for USB and you can use it um, traditional shotgun into your camera. So let me change. Y'all see me looking weird because I'm looking at my camera. Um, but yeah, I love this this microphone. I, this thing is super powerful. But USB, you can plug it directly into your computer, or you can go 3.5 and plug it into your camera, or 
sometimes I'll plug it into my ATEM so you can use it multiple different ways as a desktop microphone or as on your camera microphone. Uh, okay, let's see here. Let me close this. And what I want to do is get one more shot of my, I want to get this before I get out of here because this is the charger. So I want to get B-roll of this. Uh, I want to get B-roll of me turning this on and everything, but I'm not going to do that tonight. All right. So now change the color on this. I'll go yellow on this one. For Roz. So that I can find it turn into yellow. Uh, let's see here. Emmanuel. Let's see. I think your question was related to the slider that can go off batteries or it can be plugged in so you can do both. <laughs> hey, Bryce, I'm available if you need someone to test some gear. Like, there's a lot of companies that want people to test gear. Um, so what I'm doing is I've, I'm, it'll be launching in, in March because like I turned down a lot of deals or, for to test out products because companies will reach out and say, hey, would you test this on your YouTube channel? And I'm just like, uh, it's not a good fit. Or like, they don't want to pay me for it because I don't need free stuff. Like I've got plenty of microphones. I have one company that reached out, they have two cool microphones, but like, I only want to do it if you're going to compensate me for creating a video on it. Um, but I would love to just have two new microphones. I just have no use for two microphones and to create content for two microphones will take away from me creating content from some other things that are more profitable at the end of the day, but I, I'm creating a community group just for, not only to show people how they can do it because it's easier than it may seem. Um, I'll put it in a YouTube chat for anybody that's interested. You can you can sign up, it's in beta right now um, if you wanna get a head start in the community and kind of start going through some stuff, but there's a lot of stuff I need to upload over the next month but basically just showing people what I did to get brands and companies' attentions for the things that I do. So you guys can do the same thing depending on what industry you're in. So it doesn't really matter what your business is or what you do. Just think about those companies um, of the products and the services that you're using all the time. Those are the ones you want to reach out to and collaborate with. And um, I've got a community where we're going to focus on that, um, how to work with these companies and brands so um rome says amazon needs a tv fire stick app for live that is a huge thing like a lot of us in the community have said like how come we can't watch it on the fire stick it's you know it seems like a win-win a situation um but yeah definitely so we've talked about before rome but that they need to make that happen uh lord says please let us know about testing stuff and branding deals yeah so um, I, Amazon won't let me put the website on there, so hopefully I'll put it on there, but if they kick me off, then I'm blaming you guys. Um, so that's the site. If you guys want to check it out, um, that way you guys can jump in there if you feel it's something you can get value from. All right, so let me move... Since I already got that plugged in that way, I'm going to do this because now I want to record. This is my charger. I'll tell you all about that as I'm getting that set up. This is my Rode Wireless Go charger. I've got that highlighted in the product carousel, so I'm going to grab some footage of that real quick. Um, let me see if I can point this other camera down at it so you guys can see. So camera five, and I'll do picture and picture with me there. So this is typically what I'll use to charge up my uh, Rode Wireless Go set. Um, I just has three ports in there. I gotta turn some light on for you guys to see it again. All right. Yeah. All right. 
Du, du, du. All right, let's see what that, oh, that's too white. Ooh, too bright. Way overexposed. Well, it might be overexposed for you guys on the live stream, but for me in here, it's still not bright enough. Um, but this is the little hard case for the real wireless goes two transmitters um, and one receiver, and you can just charge it on the front in a little case. So I'm gonna get some B-roll of that because I'll be using that as a video as well. So let's get that tilted down. I actually need to come down on this one. So let's see. Alright. All right. So let's put that over there. Okay. Hit record. Do A. Now with the slider, you don't have to go all the way for A and B points. I just kind of do how I feel. Start, confirm, stand by, okay. All right, so I'll, let, I'll get that a couple times through and then clean up here in the background. All right, if anybody has any questions, let me know as I start to clean up all my stuff over here. Glad you guys have been able to hang out for me with me for the last hour and 12 minutes on Facebook, or not Facebook, YouTube and Amazon Live. Those of you all Amazon Live, make sure y'all hit the follow button if you haven't already. Um, text experts got on the text list. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. So for those of you all on YouTube, I'll put the Amazon link over there too because Amazon Live is kind of my favorite platform now these days. All right, let's get this going. So, got that shot. Also, want to get a shot of it open. Pretty much the same thing, just open. And then we'll do a pan back and forth of it as well. This is the USB C charger for it, so I don't want to lose that. This is charger for this so I definitely will be using this thing no well what's going on All right. yeah <laughs> yeah she is up she is up so that means daddy's gonna wrap it up and go spend time with her So this is our charger, and I think what I'm gonna end up doing with this is putting it behind my desk because I need something that charges up a little bit faster. Because right now, like anything that's USB-C that needs to be charged, I've been charging on my iPad, on my Mac Mini, but this is a dedicated charger, so I need to find a good clean spot to put it. I, I do have another charger that sits right off camera that's like behind my, that's on my cabinet thing over here but it's kind of difficult to get to easily so we'll have to figure out where we want to put that um, don't need that anymore okay and let's go ahead and get a side shot Oops, exit sure okay and let's tilt this up So let's do that there. Okay. No, I don't, no wonder I had the light on over here. Oh, I don't feel like getting that shot again. All right, so go. Oops. A. B. Okay, we'll do that. So if you guys end up watching the YouTube videos of these things, make sure y'all leave a comment saying that you noticed 
you notice the B-roll footage. Alright. If anybody has any questions as I kind of clean up and wrap up here, let me know. I'll an answer any last minute questions that you guys have. Alright. And then I will, because I, I know Brian had mentioned gear and stuff. I do resell a lot of stuff, so I am working on um, getting stuff updated on the website. I even had somebody come through my website asking for live streaming gear stuff. So a lot of stuff I do um, resell that I just don't have a use for. Um, like literally, like I have a, like behind here, there's just microphones and stuff, just like s literally stuffed in there stuff is stuffed in here um so when i get around to it i will get that stuff updated um i actually already have two boxes sitting in the hallway of of gear that needs to get uploaded onto the site i just haven't had a chance to get around to it um but there are stuff on there i had some laptops on there i've had some other uh microphones i get a lot of microphone requests a lot of microphone requests i don't i'm not a, like an audio person i'm more like a video i like video way more than i like audio all right so i'm gonna see if i can get one of the charging being on there okay so we'll get a couple more shots and call it a day so glad you guys were to hang out with me as i'm working <laughs> Let's go. I don't like that shot. I don't like that. Let's go back. Right, let's go up. Okay. I don't know. I don't like that shot either. There's not really much I can get with this because there's not a lot going on with it. So I'll probably just do an overhead and that's it for that one. Okay. So let's go here, here. This will end up probably being a real quick video anyway because all it is is a charger. But it's a convenient charger. I will say that. Just dial that down a little bit. Okay. Put that down there like that. Get a little accent color going on in the back. No. Accent color going on in the front. No, it's just too bright. Yellow's just making it too bright. And I need to adjust the tripod because my angle is off. Okay, there we go. Okay, set A and B. Confirm, stand by. Start, okay. So let that go a couple times and let me get signed out of here. Cool, Brian said he just got signed up. Awesome, connect with me in there, Brian. Um, definitely fill out the profile in there and everything and um, let me know like what industry you're in. So for people that are inside of that specific community, because I have a free Amazon Live creators community that's open for anybody that wants to get started on Amazon Live and learn it. But in that community, like I kind of connect you with some people that actually help you get the process done faster. Um, and a lot of deals I like to CC people on emails and things like that. So, um, fill out the profile in there. Let me know like the type of gear, um, you're interested in. It's a new platform that I'm using. So um, I'm still learning the platform itself, but I'm definitely adding a lot of stuff in there over the next month. And then we'll be doing some live group sessions inside of there. Um, but anything tech related, like those are just like easy deals. Cause I get those all the time. Um, let me see. 
uh, Rome said, who was on the live with me on Monday. That was my guy um, that put together this road, I mean, this, this ATEM switcher. Um, so on Monday show, what did I call Monday show? Because I ended up having to upload it. And something was going crazy with Am or with YouTube, so I had to upload the show with Danny. Um, the video I end up calling it the man behind the best eight ten mini extreme stand. So his name was Danny Dodge. So he created this uh, 3D printed stand for the eight ten mini, and you can also put in the Elgato Stream Deck. So Danny was on last week, and then this coming week. Um, I got uh, Rob Balasabas. Uh, Rob is a content creator on YouTube as well, so he's going to be here to talk some techie stuff with me uh, on Monday's show. So Monday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for you guys that um, want to follow. Uh, definitely follow me here on Amazon Live and YouTube, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We go live, and it's more of a show, um, Q&A, and all that good stuff. Uh, that's my consistent time of showing up. I'll put it that way. If you want to find me consistently, that's my consistent time of showing up is um, that time. Um, Jada J, what's going on? Says, do you have an ATEM and Rodecaster? So I have the ATEM. Yes, ATEM Mini Extreme ISO. And I do not have a Rodecaster. So I'm just using all my audio through my Focusrite and my Cloud Lifter. Now, if Rode wants to send me one, I'll take it. I just, I'm, it's funny because I'm trying to go more minimal, but I just keep having stuff. So I don't need a Rodecaster, but if it was sent to me, I would use it. I just don't have a need for it. So I'm not going to go and just get one. But if, if it was sent over, I would definitely be making space for it. Um, either the Rodecaster or the Tascam Mixcast. That looks pretty cool too. Same type of device. Either one would work for me. Um, I just like how these companies are creating products that allow us to to be like production studios like in our homes, which is pretty cool. Uh, JK, the DJ says kind of off topic. What Bluetooth keyboard would you recommend? I use the um, Logitech K860. I'm a fan of. Now, I'm not a gamer, so I know my gamers probably wouldn't want something like this. Uh, I use ergonomics as much as I can just because once I got started using ergonomic keyboards then and ergonomic mouses, they uh, really do help. So I'll put this in the carousel. It's really a matter of preference though at the end of the day, just like any piece of tech gear. Um, but I do use this as uh, my 3D, I mean my Bluetooth keyboard. Now what I do like about this one is it has buttons up here that I can program for three different devices. So my main device is connected to my Mac mini and when I select number two, it actually connects to my laptop and number three I'm not using right now. And it is um, ergonomic split keyboard and has the rest pad on here and it's all one piece. Now at first I didn't think I would like the all one piece because I would want to move the rest, but it actually works pretty good for me. So I've been using it for not quite a year yet, but I, typically lean towards Logitech keyboards because they're just more user friendly for me um, and I like the style but if you're into gaming can't help you there because I don't I don't like the tap 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 keys I uh, drives me nuts uh, I like the soft keys now the only thing I wish this did have was a backlight it does not have an LED backlight on it but I've been typing for years so I know where all my keys are it's just sometimes the backlight does come in handy and it looks cool in a darker space because I typically like to have my rooms darker when I work. I'm just more productive that way. Um, Michael G, thanks for following me here on Amazon. Uh, Angela, thanks for following me here on Amazon Live. Uh, do you use OBS for streaming or recording? I use OBS not as my main live streaming or recording, so I Right now, I use a program called Wirecast is what I'm using. Let me switch over and move that camera so you can see it. So I'm using Wirecast right now to live stream everything out. So I have my preview, my preview and my program, all that good stuff to go out, which is more of a production 
platform allows me to do a lot more customizations and built-ins and they have support so it's not free so they actually have support so you can actually pay someone or pay for their service to if you need help i'll put it that way um but wirecast is what i typically use as my go-to i also use another platform called melon which is a web-based platform which i uh, tell people to check out and then I use OBS for my church just because it's free and I encourage the churches um, that are on budgets to check out some good free software. So OBS is one of those softwares that I typically recommend. So I bounce between softwares if that's if that's a thing. But for me personally, like to do what I want to do um, and maximize my live streaming and time and everything, Wirecast is just the platform that is like my number one just because of how much it can do and the fact that I've been using Wirecast for years, um, then you know, Wirecast is on version 15. I think I've been using this since version six or seven. So I've seen Wirecast evolve over the years and it's just been my tried and true software. Uh, Ron says he loves the Roadcaster, which is always the common consensus. And that's one of the reasons that I keep leaning towards wanting to buy one. I just can't justify it because I know everybody loves those. Um, Angel said, I was just browsing and your setup caught my eye. Amazing. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Topic and show on my YouTube. What I call, what I call the YouTube video for today was the craziness of making a YouTube video in a small space, because that's essentially what I'm doing is trying to create some content over here in a small space. And I forgot that this was rolling. So let's go ahead and cut that off. But I think we're good over there. So I think we're good. I think I got all my B-roll footage for now. Um, Adam says, I'm hungry. What should I eat? Uh, check out, is Christina on? Because Christina stays live in the kitchen. So I'm not sure if she's on tonight. Um, but definitely check out her channel because she's always got some good kitchen uh, recipes that she's cooking up over there. Um, thank you guys for hanging out with me. Um, hope to see you guys on Monday. Like I said, Monday is my time of consistency. So if you want to catch me regular and ask questions um, on YouTube and on Amazon Live. 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is when you can find me there. Um, but yeah, if you guys have questions around digital and tech stuff, I'm here to help you navigate through it. Uh, last question, Adam says, what monitor is that? That is the Samsung CRG9. Let me see if I can... I don't have it in the... Here, I do. So it's a Samsung CRG9. That's a 49-inch ultra-wide monitor that is uh, that is pretty big. So you need a you need, definitely need a a stand or a good desk for it. I do use it. What's called an H H X arm um, that allows me to pivot, and move this thing around because it is kind of massive. So um, and heavy. So I do have it up on an arm. But it does come with the stand by itself, so you can just use it on the stand. That's how I had it for a long time, and then I got the arm so I could move it around. But um, it's a 49-inch, and I just have a three tabs um, to work through. So I kind of have two setups going. This is kind of my work day, and then this is kind of my production stuff. Um, and I just use the two together at the same time. But, yeah, that's what we got going on here, you guys. So I'm going to get to cleaning up all this stuff over here and go get some dinner see wife see baby girl and uh, you guys have an awesome rest of your day and i'll see you guys in the next amazon and youtube live streams